Imagine feeling so hungry while driving that you decide to stop over your favorite fast food restaurant and the next thing you know, you're chomping down a burger dripping with oils and one hand reaching out those greasy fries. But do you ever know exactly what happens to oil used to fry these foods? Sadly, a significant amount of the used cooking oil is improperly washed down the drain or incorrectly disposed. This causes severe environmental damage, especially if it reaches our natural ecosystems. And this is where my research comes in. I found a way to convert this otherwise non-recyclable cooking oil into something new and useful. I converted it into hydrogen fuel. And the most interesting part is, the entire conversion process was made possible using water only. So let's imagine having a vessel and you put water and oil in it. Then, we pressurize this vessel up to 25 megapascal. So if you want to know what 25 megapascal feels like, just imagine two full-grown elephants standing at the edge of your thumb. Then, we proceed to heating the contents of this vessel up to 400 degrees Celsius. So water at this condition becomes a tool to break down the oil and convert it into hydrogen-rich gas stream. So pure hydrogen burns cleaner compared to conventional fossil fuels because it has zero carbon emissions. Therefore, we can take the waste oil out of the environment and fossil fuels out of our cars. So my research is a two-for-one climate solution. So in my original experiments using a model biomass, I had succeeded in producing hydrogen of about 0.21% in the product gases. But wait, 0.21%? Isn't that too low? Don't worry, let me tell you something interesting. This is due to the high energy barrier that we need to overcome for a specific reaction to happen easily. So my idea is to identify which of this reaction is crucial for hydrogen production and make this reaction faster by lowering its activation energy. So to do this, I have succeeded in synthesizing a metal catalyst which works to open up an express lane for this specific reaction to happen. And guess what? From 0.21%, I had succeeded in increasing hydrogen production to 60%. So with this promising result, I believe that this technology could bring us closer to the futuristic carbon neutral society. So the next time you see waste cooking oil, think of it as the fuel of tomorrow. Thank you.